fed up with boycotts by other countries, ballooning costs and weapons orders that never materialized, Turkey has turned to its own military industrial complex for solutions. Once a client and now an exporter, Turkey's defense exports have soared over the last few years, and it now feels it has a competitive edge. We are on the table not as a seller, but as a partner. Partner in true sense and true means. We are just holding out of our purposes and also cost and quality parameters. We put these two together, I guess we can offer the best in the world. The best known of these new weapons is the Barraktar TB2 combat drone. It's not the fastest and it's not the most powerful weapon of its type, but not all military forces can afford the high-end technology sold by the United States. A cost-effective weapon is needed and Turkey has filled this niche for unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs. Well, TB2 is an example of the progress they've made uh, in the UAV sector. Uh, it's, it's a potent weapon, it's proved itself in combat uh, with precision strikes and uh, so it's, it's got a, uh, an intelligent uh, munition package, it's got long endurance, uh, day and night operations, so all these factors make it a very, uh, very effective and potent uh, weapon system. It's not just a weapon. Its cameras provide real-time intelligence that can be used to spot targets for artillery and missile strikes. It can also destroy targets by itself, filming all these strikes to advertise its effectiveness. The TB2 has seen action in Libya, and it's been successfully used by Azerbaijan and featured in its military victory parade. It has now been flying in the skies over Ukraine, reportedly destroying Russian targets so effectively that there's even been a song written about it. The TB2 has proven itself to be an effective combat drone, but its successors are already on the market, and Turkey now sets its sights higher as it enters the arena of advanced fifth-generation fighter jets. Alex Katopoulos, Al Jazeera, Doha.